Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will be creating a few exercises with Excel actions. In previous video, we have covered the random word exercise. Let's create a new exercise. Create a robot that does the following. List the data in the attached Excel workbook called match.xlss. Find instance in the first and second column when the data values are equal right match in the top column when the match is found. Finally, save and close the Excel file. Okay, so in this case, we need to take a look at the match.xlss file. Okay, so if you see here, we do not have the column name, we only have the value. Okay, so in this case, if we take a look at the requirement, Raise the data and find the instance if the first and second column are matched. If the first and second column are matched. So this means it will be four, number row 4, row 6, row 13, and row 19, and 14 of course. Okay, so in this case, the first thing that we would like to do is you may need to launch the Excel first. Okay, launch with a blank with an existing document. I would like to make the instance visible. Okay, the next step what I will need to do is I have 19 rows. Okay, so in this case, I would like to use a loop index we start from 1 and end to 19 increment by 1 okay so now once your loop is done the next thing what you can do is you can use read from excel worksheet but in this case we want to get the value of a single cell we want to get this one by one. I want to get this value and I also want to get this value. Then we can do the comparison. Okay, so start column is at A and row. What is the row? In this case, we have the loop index, right? Then we use the loop index. I would like to store this variable as column A. Click save. I do the same thing, I copy and paste, and do the same thing for column B. And then, I will use a if condition, if column A is equals to column B I will want to write to the cell to the column C uh, as match Okay, so in this case, let me close this Excel and then I want to use a save. So the, the requirement is save and close the Excel file. In this case, we can just use the close Excel. So the close Excel has to be after I finish the loop. Okay, save document. And I click save. Okay, so let's try to run. Okay, let me double check the form menu convention. Should not have this double quote. Okay, hit run again.
I'm done. So if I open the file again, you have all the match record. Okay, let's try to create a new exercise. Create a robot that does the following. Create a robot that adds the value on column A with the value on column B and write them in column C using the sum excel formulas. Okay, so in this case, we will be using the sums.xlxs. So let's have a look. Okay, so in this case, we have column A and column B. So we will add this value inside this column C using the formula. So in this case, the steps that we'll be doing is first we may want to launch the Excel. Change the name to sums.xlxs. Okay, and then the next thing what we will what what we would like to do is take a loop action. We double check how many rows are there. Twelve. Okay, so start from one and to twelve increment by one. We change the variable produce name as loop index. Okay. And then the next thing what we would like to do is we use a write to sell worksheet. I select the instance here on a specified cell. And then column C, row at loop index. So in this case, I can actually write the formula inside this column C value. Okay. In this case, I did not indicate the value. So you may want to put the formula as equal sum. A is the column name and the loop index, comma, B loop index. Once I click save, then the next thing what I would like to do is close the Excel and save. Okay, Let's save the file here. And run it again. Alright, we are done. So we have completed the SSS for Excel automation. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.